welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java project which is entitled as checking only when it is necessary enabling integrity auditing based on the keyword with sensitive information privacy for encrypted cloud data which is an IEEE 2022 transaction paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that the data stored in the cloud is being encrypted for the security purpose. But as the data is are being encrypted, searching a data in the cloud is being a hectic process because the data are being encrypted. So to find the exact file, they'll be using a tech called keyword so using the keyword the file will be mapped and it will be retrieved but using the keyword will also give a way for the intruders or the third party to get the data what is stored in the cloud so to overcome that that the keywords are also been encrypted and the user of the cloud service provider will be having a doubt that the data stored in the cloud is being secured or not for that purpose there is a technique called auditing so whenever the user requests for the audit for this file uh, audit entity will be auditing the file and checks and whether it has been modified or it has been safe in the cloud service so earlier system already used this auditing purpose but they would have checked the entire file system but here in this paper the authors have proposed a new paradigm called integrity auditing based on the keyword with the sensitive information privacy for the encrypted cloud data so here the the TPA that is the third party auditor will be checking based on the keyword encrypted keyword that is also encrypted keyword without seeing the entire file that is stored in the cloud and it will be giving the uh, auditing results to the user whether the file stored in the cloud is being modified or not in such a way. So if you see the architecture, you can see that the user will be uploading the files in the cloud service and the cloud will be having a secure index and the encrypted data blocks and authenticator set kinds of thing and here in the TPA you can see the uh, user request for the TPA for uh, authenticating the file and the TPA will be checking the audit proof to the cloud and the results will be given to the user again based on the keyword only and kindly note that we cannot implement the exact algorithm or the mathematical model as mentioned in the base paper so only the main objectives of the paper is being implemented so now let us see the execution of the project so as we have developed this project in NetBeans so just open the NetBeans IDE 8.2 and now let us import the project into the NetBeans IDE so just go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location this source code location you can find this integrity auditing based on the keyword and click open project and now kindly wait till the complete project has been loaded into the NetBeans IDE so you can see the progress here meanwhile let us attach the database so just go to the MySQL administrator enter the username and password as root and root and click ok now go to the restore option and just select open backup file and go to the source code location again where you can find the database folder and select the database and then click start restore now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close now you can close this mysql administrator part because the database has been attached successfully now coming back to the netbeans ide part it is going to complete and now you can see the project has been completely loaded into the netbeans ide so now let us execute the project so just right click it and then click run and now kindly wait till it has been transferred to the browser part and now you can see the home screen or welcome to the project with the project title checking only when it is necessary enabling integrity auditing based on the keyword with sensitive information privacy and encrypted cloud data and here you can see the entities user tpa and the cloud server so first let me go to the user part so once if you click the user menu it will be navigated to the user login page as i am a new user i don't have the credentials to log into the system so let me go to the registration just you just click this registration link so it will be navigated to the user registration page where you need to enter the details of your name email id 
phone number address password and click sign up and now you can see the registration success message and click ok and now it will be navigated to the user login page so once if you enter the email id and the password that you have used during the registration it says that the user is not approved and user cannot log in because the new user should be approved by the cloud service provider then only the user can able to log in into the system this is to make the unnecessary users to prevent and only the correct user to enter into the system and once if you click this uh, law cloud server menu it will be navigated to the cloud login you can just enter the username and password as cloud and cloud where C is caps and you can see the login and success and click OK and now it will be navigated to the cloud home page and here you can see the options of user approval active users auditing request cloud files etc so once if you go to active users you can see it is empty because there is no active user still now and there is no auditing request and there is no any file stored in it and now if you go to the user approval there is one pending approval that we have created right now with the user id 1 the name jp and the email id and the phone number and registered date and time of it and here you can see the status is no because the user is not in approved so one the cloud has the authority of uh, approving or rejecting a user once if they approve the user you can see the activation success and click ok now you can see the user activate user approval is mm, there is no any pending approvals and if you go to the active users part you can see earlier it was empty now you can see it has been updated with the new user that we have created and you can see the uh, status has been active now and now let me log out from the cloud service provider and go to the user part so now this time i'll enter the username and the user id and the password which you have used during the registration and click sign in and now you can see the login is success now because cloud has approved the user and now it will be navigated to the user home page where the user has the option of upload file my file secure index auditing request auditing status so now you can see my files secure index auditing request or auditing status everything is empty and first let me go to the upload part so first let me upload a file so as we are going to do a cloud project the file that is going to be uploaded here should also be uploaded in the server cloud server so for that purpose we have used drive hq cloud service provider so just go to the drivehq.com and click sign up and just create an account and activate your account and once after activating the account you need to enter those details in the coding part so in the source code part you can find f tpcon.java file where in the line number 30 you can see this username and password where you need to enter your username of the drive hq and password of the drive hq of your account then only the file that is uploaded will be stored in your account or else it will be stored only in the local and not be stored in the cloud server so once after entering the details you, you need to save it so now i have entered my details and if you go to drivehq.com you can see this is the file that is available and now let me upload a new file and show you so let me create a file called audit test and let me enter this content here and let me enter a keyword called audit and let me select the file that is created right now by me audit test and then click upload and now you can see the file split into blocks and uploaded to the cloud service message and click ok and now if you go to my files part you can see the id 1 and what is the file name that i have uploaded what is the keyword what is the decryption key uploaded date and time and you can see action view file or delete file options here and let me go to the drive hq and now refresh my drive hq and now you can see there is uh, three files created now because the file that we uploaded is being split into three blocks block one block two and block three and if you click the block one you can see the file has been encrypted you can see block 2 the file has been encrypted and block 3 file has been encrypted and here you can see the date and time 
that has been created right now 31 3 2023 that has been updated so whichever the file that you're uploading it will be split into three blocks and it will be stored in the drive hq so now let me log out from this part so it is made sure that we have uploaded the file to the drive hq on the local also so now let me close this drive hq part so coming to the project part so if you go to the uh, secure index part you can find the id the file id encrypted keyword and authenticator and authenticator key of these details and uh, now let me go to the auditing request so now here you can see the queried keyword so whichever uh, file you wanted to give a audit request so now user wants to check whether the file stored in the cloud is secure or not so user gives a request based on the keyword that not on the file so it is based on the keyword that was the difference between the existing and the proposed system and here let me create the keyword as key for example i am giving cloud and send to audit you can see keyword not found in the encrypted index because we are not created any keyword with the file name sorry keyword name as cloud so now let me give a keyword as audit and give send to request now you can see trapdoor has been generated and audit challenge is sent successfully and click ok and now if you go to the auditing status you can see the keyword that we have given that has been encrypted what is the trapdoor and what is the auditing status of his and time of it you can see and if you give view results you can see verification is under process because the tpa has not that verified it so the it has been in pending state and now let me log out and now let me go to the tpa part so if you be navigated to the third party auditor login page where you need to enter the username and password as tpa and give login and now, now you can see the login success and click ok now it will be navigated to the tpa home page and here in the third party auditor you can see the active users so right now only one user is there that has been displayed and if you go to the auditing request you can see the request that has been given right now by the user jp and what is the keyword and everything has been encrypted now and you can see the shadow sync status has been waiting now the third party auditor should uh, audit the file and check whether the file is secure or not without seeing the file and that is also being encrypted and it also it is a block only using the keyword so now let us click the challenge cloud and now you can see challenge sent to the cloud and click ok so now if you go to the auditing status you can see the challenge to the cloud and if you click verify results you can see it is under process because the cloud has not sent the details to the tpa till now so now if you go to the cloud so just enter the username and password as cloud and login to the system and now if you go to the auditing request you can see the uh, request that is made by the tpa is being sent here with the date and time and here you can see the generate proof so now the cloud sends the generate proof to the tpa so re request sent to the tpa so now if you log out and go to the tpa part So if you go to the auditing status here you can see the proof has been generated now and if you click view results here you can see the authenticator and verification status has been waiting now the auditor is going to verify with the user request and also the cloud given proof so now let us check it and click check now you can see integrity checked and the status sent to the user and click ok and now if you log out and go to the user part So now if you go to the auditing status here you can see the auditing status has been verified and now if you go to the view results and now you can see the status has been verified now so the file has been saved now so now let me log out from this part and go to the TPA In the TPF part, if you go to the auditing transaction, you can see what all the auditing done by the TPA is being displayed here. And this is the file that we have audited right now with the keyword of it. And what is the auditing status and date and time of it? And now let me log out. And now let me create a let me upload a, some other file.
so now let me create an other file with the name test and now let me upload this file and click upload and now you can see the file is written to blocks and uploaded to the cloud service and click ok and now if you go to my files you can see the second file that we have created is also updated here and if you go to the auditing request let me check for test keyword and click send to audit now you can see the trap is generated and audit challenge is sent successfully and now if you go to the auditing status you can see earlier it was verified the first request and second one has been waiting stage so now let me log out now let me go to the cloud server part so if you go to the cloud files if you go to the cloud files you can see what is the file that is available so that you can see there is no any file name or the keyword so just the user id and the file id is been shown here so this is the first file that is we have uploaded and second file so now as a prototype what i'm going to do i'm going to modify the file and show how the user checks for that and verifies whether the tpa is identified or not. so now let me enter as jp infotech and click update so now the cloud has modified this file so now let us check whether the tpa verifies for it or not so now let me log in with the tpa and if you go to the auditing request you can see the second request that is given by the user is being shown with the keyword in auditing status and let me give challenge to the cloud and challenge sent to the cloud now and auditing transaction you can see that has been challenged to the cloud second one has been pending so now let me log out and go to the cloud server now if you go to the auditing request you can see it has been challenged to the cloud so the cloud sends the proof to the tpa so response sent to the tpa and click ok now let me log out from the cloud server and go to the tpa part now if you go to the auditing status you can see the proof has been generated and verify results now the tpa is going to compute the user request and also the cloud generated proof so now let me click check and now you can see the integrity check and status sent to the user and click ok and now if you go to the auditing status you can see the auditing status has been verified and click ok now if you go to the user part click sign in and if you go to the auditing status where you can see the second file that has been verified and if you go to the view results and here you can see the verification status that has been failed because the file has been modified by the cloud server so it gives the tpa gives the proof as it has been failed which means that the file has been modified and is not so so first file which you have seen the request there is no you have not done any modification so it has been verified status the second file which we have uploaded in the cloud i have changed that in the cloud so it has been showing that the file has been failed now and now let me log out and in this way the user checks the integrity and the tpa checks the integrity of the file without seeing the file contents and only with the keyword of it and this is all about the project checking only when it is necessary enabling integrity auditing based on keyword with sensitive information privacy for encrypted cloud data and thank you all for watching